I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you some questions from previous test papers. We'll practice questions relating to permutation and combination in this video. Let us consider four blue, four green, and five yellow crayons. Case A is, in how many ways can you line up the crayons on a desk if all are new crayons, fresh out of the box? which are identical except for the color. Part B is, now the crayons are used and all have different lengths. You need to pick four crayons. How many different choices do you have if you have to pick at least one yellow? So these are the two questions for you. You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestion. In the first case, we have four blue, so four of one type, four green, and five yellow crayons. So four of green type and five of yellow. So in all, how many crayons do we have? In all, let's say n is equals to four plus four plus five, we have 13 crayons. Now the question is, in how many ways can you line up the crayons on a desk if all are new crayons fresh out of the box which are identical except for the color? So basically, we have four, four and five of each kind. So in this case, the answer is 13 factorial divided by four of each kind which are identical, so you have to divide by these, correct? So that is how you can get the answer for this question. Now, you can perform the calculation. Let's do it. So we have 13 factorial divided by, within brackets, 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 5 factorial. Bracket close equal to 9, 0, 0, Nine zero, right? So that gives you the solution for the first part. Now, in the second case, now the crayons are used and all have different lengths. You need to pick four crayons. How many different choices do you have if you have to pick at least one yellow? So that means um, one yellow and others from eight. Right, so what we have now here is, so we are selecting one yellow, so, so we could select one yellow. In that case, it should be one yellow and we need total of four. That means three others, three others. So that is first case and that should be added to the other combinations where we could have two yellow. Let me write yellow with Y. And once we take two of these, two others, let's say O, right? Two others. Okay, let me just write others. Plus three yellow and one other. Or it could be four yellow, right? Zero others, we could write zero others. So these are the combinations. So one yellow is out of five yellows, correct? So in this case, it'd be 5C1 times three others, three are from these four and four, which is eight. So it is 8C3 plus two yellows from five, right? So times from eight, we have to select two. So that gives us four in all. And then from five, we could select three yellows. And from the rest eight, we could select one and then we could select all yellows, right? So that is four, and then from eight, none, right, zero. So that gives you the total number of combinations. Now we can use calculator and find the answer, right? So five C1, you know, is five, let's multiply, right? So five C1 equals two times 8 C3 
So that is 280, right? So we have 280 plus 5C2, 5C2 times 8C2, which is again 280 plus 5C3 times 8C1. I'm sorry, so I could write 1, right? So it is times 8, right? So times 8. Okay, let me read. So it is 5C3 times 8C1, which is 80, plus 5C4 times 8C0, okay, which is 5, and now we can add them all to get the answer, right? So once you add them all, you get 280 plus 280 plus 80 plus 5 equals to 645 as your answer, right? So that is how you can calculate the possibilities or choices of picking up four crayons with one yellow at least, at least one yellow. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.